So GCC is the GNU compiler collection, um, and that includes compilers for C, C++, um, as well as some other languages like Ada and Go, uh, but C and C++ are kind of the main. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna look at that's a bit different, um, a bit of a new concept is the include directive. So you've probably seen imports in languages like Java or um, Python, et cetera, but C++ handles these a little bit differently. So there's a special syntax for um, commands known as preprocessor directives. And what these preprocessor directives are, are they're code that's not executed at runtime, but rather at compile time. And essentially, whatever we put in these directives, it's going to include some files directly into the, the program for us. So we're going to start this directive with a, with a hashtag symbol. And we're going to say include. And then after this, we need a couple of angle brackets. So a less than sign and a greater than sign. And inside of that is going to be the name of the file that we want. And the name of that file is IO screen, all lowercase. Now, before we proceed, there's something that we need to add on line eight. So we need to add a new line character. And there's a couple different ways we can do this, but the easiest way and the standard C++ way is after the number, let's do a couple more of those um, arrows. Okay. Uh, no, same direction. So it, it's all feeding into, it's all directing into the standard C out. Um, and what we're gonna put here is standard end L. And this, creates a new line character for us. How an array actually works. So you have a collection of numbers, right? And when you access that array with zero, what that's actually doing is that's getting a pointer to the first element of the array. And then as we cycle through, that pointer is being added. Quotes. And what kind of quotes? Um, isn't it just normal quotes for a string? So double, double. quotes. Yeah, double. Yeah, are, so, are those just apostrophes, the other ones? Yeah, so the other ones, the single oh, yeah, quotes. In, in programming, they, they are single quotes. Yeah, yeah but, and question. so what do you think that value is? What do you think that means? If you were to take but, a guess. Is it like a unique code connecting? Kind of. It is It is unique. It only belongs to this object, this pointer. Okay. But what do you, what do you think it represents? Oh, does this relate to namespaces? Not namespaces. It's a bit more, think about okay. the bare metal. Think about what makes your computer a computer you i assume <laughs> not quite so think at the at the lowest level lower lower, lower even lower like zeros and ones binary maybe not think more on the the technical hardware side like, like the hardware side beyond cpu cores threads Nope, you're looking in the wrong place. So the CPU is like the heart of a computer. What would be the brains? CPU is the, the heart. What would, what would the be? memory? Ram? The memory. Ram. Memory. So yeah, it, there's say, like... it says it saves everything. <laughs> yeah, what? There, is a, there is a file. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. If there's an error, it just tells you. Yeah, so how it, to fix it. It's very friendly. And I mean, it, it can't always tell you exactly uh. what the answer is, but in cases like this, it can. So every time we make changes to our code, we have to rebuild our file, our executable. That is fun. Yay. <laughs> but I am very, very, very excited to, um, to learn more. 
Yeah, and I'm, I'm very excited as well. So next week, we're going to start diving right into um, how to build a game engine. And we're going to see some um, libraries. We're going to learn about um, how classes work in C++ and uh, a whole bunch of, again, all sorts of new features that um, really show you the wonders of C++. So. Thank you.